Now I can use webbing. Here's that webbing that we looked at before, and we uh, joined it into a loop with uh, our water bend, so I'll just do that real quick a second. There's nothing that says I can't basket hitch a piece of webbing. In fact, in your book, it refers to that as a quick sling or a pre-tied sling. I pre-tied it into a loop. I simply pass it around the anchor point. Okay, a little housekeeping there. And I have an attachment point right out here. And life's good. Very, it's good. I got multiple strands of this 4,000 pound material. It's very strong. Take my word for it if that's all you can rely on. The rope is going to break before this does. Okay, you got a very strong attachment point here. As long as I protect against the sharp edges, and, you know, I need to put in padding as I need to, life is good. If you want to, you can shorten this up artificially by, by making wraps around here. But the thing I would be concerned with when you do this is remember that now I still have to be able to have these legs equalized. This one's taking all the load, this one's taking nothing. Now I'm down to two strands of webbing. So not quite the strength that we're looking for in our anchor point. I want to have the four strands of, of webbing loaded, okay? So either adjust this out or better yet, tie it to the correct length, okay? Don't take a 20 foot loop of webbing and wrap it around there. If you only need a short loop piece, either use a shorter piece of webbing or tie the webbing shorter, okay? But also recognize that this is still a basket hitch. And it's still subject to that three-way loading problem on the carabiner. Okay? So it's no different than the anchor strap in that regard. Okay?